you to help us to teach your children that God loves them. It's probably one of the most important of life's lessons, but what does that look like? There's one really important feature that is quite unlike any other kind of love we know. Uh, recently, I went up into the loft in our house and I found the diaries I wrote as a young boy in my mid to late teens. I was flicking through the pages, imagining that words of wisdom would pour off the ch pages and I would be able to communicate these wonderful things. But when I started to read what I'd written there all those years ago, most of it was pretty awful, really. I mean, I look back at the younger version of me and I was trying desperately to win approval, uh, whether it was girls, whether it was parents, whether it was career. I was trying desperately to earn the kind of love that I thought would make me happy. Now, here's the crazy thing. St. Augustine writes about this. He says, you were born with a sort of hole in your heart, a, a hole that's restless until we find our rest in the Lord. It's as if we were born to love and to be loved. And yet here's a problem. We're striving, struggling, desiring all the time to earn that love because in a way that's how we were taught to love. Our parents didn't mean to do this, but they probably showed you that they loved you a little bit more when you did what they wanted you to do. And so as we grow into adults, we begin to get this idea that, that love is something we earn. Of course we do. It's the most natural thing to think. At the birth of my first child, Sam, I remember probably the most unfair of situations after my wife has done all of the work. I received this child and I remember giving him to his mother. It was a profound experience, giving a child to the woman who's just given birth. But here's another thing that took me by surprise. I remember looking at him and thinking to myself, Why, why do I love you? I mean, he's done nothing. He's earned nothing. It's not like he's passed a test. That child had my love. Where did that come from? And then I realized it started to dawn on me. God loves us like that. In the first letter of St. John, he writes, we only love because God loved us first. Here's the deal. There is absolutely nothing, nothing you can do to make God love you more. And here's another part of the deal. There is nothing you can do that will make God love you less. It's very unlikely that you've been loved like that by another human being. Just imagine you're going to teach your children that that love is theirs to receive. And here come the questions. <laughs> <laughs>